For this next video, I'm going to show you how to perform a mobilization and a manipulative technique for the, we can call it the sacroiliac joint, because the sacrum naturally meets the ilia, so it's called the SI, but we are going to actually use the ilia or the innominate to move off the sacrum. So it's more of an IS as an iliosacral rather than a sacroiliac. So the way we can do this one, the patient sideline and as low on the couch as you can possibly get. And what we're going to do, the top leg, I'm going to put the foot in the crease of the knee here and bring it up, but I'm going to try to bring this leg up as far as we comfortably can, like here. Hand onto the hip area and I'm going to pull him as fully into rotation as we can go. You can use this, a lot of chiropractors will use this as, a, as an L5 adjustment as well, or you may be an L4. This hand onto the side of the shoulder, and this arm, just, just let go, just go floppy there, okay? And I normally will just bring the head, so this is where we are in here. Now, from here, I tend to, to find the PSIS. My hand is going to come over onto the PSIS, okay? So it's almost going to be a gap in technique in here, but you might find it does adjust the L5 as well. You can also, by pushing anteriorly, you can guide the nominic going forward. And by changing the angle more posteriorly, you can bring it more posterior. So you can vary this technique here. The idea from here is I'm going to struggle to do it from this position. So what I'm going to try to encourage is my patient is going to be more, coming more towards the edge of the couch in here. So this is the position they're going to be in from there, okay? And then take a small breath in. I'm not going to go through the full adjustment. As I bring his arms through there and mobilize, okay, I'm going to thrust go in more that way, okay? And I can also use my body weight to come down, so I can use my body weight on there, and I can use my body weight to drop through. So for some patients, you can get away with just a hand, rotate, make sure the arms come through, spring, but for others, you might have to use your body weight to drop down through that. And that will be a typical way of adjusting the SI joint or the IS joint and also potentially into the L5 as well. Thank you.